And welcome to The Bottom Line, where we bring in the top experts to break down the most pressing business and economic stories of the day. Until today, it was uncertain whether or not the flagship project of Poland's Solidarity Hub was actually going to go ahead. Following this afternoon's press conference with Poland's Prime Minister Donald Tusk, the face of Poland's infrastructure could change forever. I am now joined by Dr. Błażej Podgórski, Assistant Professor at the Department of Finance at Warsaw's Leon Kozmiński University. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, thank you for your invitation and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. So the Polish government has announced the go-ahead for the Solidarity Transport Hub. And the first thing that grabs our attention is that the project seems to have been downsized. So instead of serving 100 or 200 million passengers a year, Prime Minister Donald Tusk presented a new number, 34 million passengers. Do you think that this is more of a realistic approach? So basically, no one know what will be the real level of uh, the number of the passengers which have in this terminal if we have in the uh, central part of the communication in Poland yes but what we have to understand this this uh, product is quite important because also another thing which we will not have in our public discussion because it's not only the passengers transport but it's also the whole logistic and this is the most important uh, issue or most important advantages of this project because when we have hub quite an, uh, innovative hub for the transportation of the cargo products will be much better and much more profitable from the perspective of the customers what we see on the world the most of the transportation of the passengers go by trains so basically if we match this product we're building a uh, quite speed uh, railways and we have this in this project that will be 100 minutes between uh, Warsaw, Krakow, Warsaw, uh, Gdańsk, Warsaw, Poznań. So we fix all the problems which we have in our country but what is quite important we shouldn't do it the reconstruction of all rain roads as we usually do it but we should build, build a new one next to old one. Okay, and so I recall that the Solidarity Transport Hub was actually modeled uh, in its design to operate like the main airports, like in Frankfurt or Dubai, and operate like transit points on longer routes. Um, and the new passenger numbers don't seem to account for that. Uh, Warsaw's Chopin Airport is estimated to serve 30 million passengers at the end of the 2020s. What do these changes signify? <coughs> so. Uh, we have to understand that being a big hub like Dubai, Istanbul, uh, Amsterdam <coughs> or Frankfurt, Munich is quite hard because uh, those uh, hubs have quite uh, strong uh, airlines, national airlines. Uh, we have to back to the rating uh, of the uh, airlines which we have it in the last week. Yes, and we see that on 100 airlines on the world, lot is number 95. Uh, Qatar is number one, Lufthansa is the first 10 of the airlines of the world. So without a strong uh, Polish airline, national airline, it's impossible to create a hub which will be uh, globally uh, known. So that's the reason probably those numbers uh, go a little bit down. But we have to remember that this hub will be quite important for all the, so the customers from uh, Lithuania, Wallachia, Estonia, uh, Belarus and Ukraine. So it's also quite important for this region. Uh, this hub will be quite important. So really this hub will actually become more of a regional project in some ways. Of course, so, but each of this project is uh, first is original and then uh, international. Of course, we can be a hub which open the window for the world for all those uh, countries that are close to Poland. Yes, and go to Asia, go to United States, go to Africa or South Africa, South America. OK, and so the scope of the, but the uh, most important. Go ahead, go ahead. The most important from our Go, the most important from our perspective is what the Prime Minister knows, that most of the communication of the passengers in the country goes by trains, yes? And we have high-speed trains which we are starting building it. 
Uh, the second thing is the uh, transport, airline transport, yes, air transport, yes, will be also developed, yes, but it's not so high because those uh, forecasts which we have it was quite optimistic. Maybe it can possible, but we we rather should think about the pessimistic uh, scenario than optimistic in this kind of project. Yes, I wanted to just move on to uh, the financing of the project. Um, so one of the criticisms uh, of the transport hub was that uh, prior to this press conference today was that it was very expensive and that the financing wasn't necessarily agreed upon or entirely transparent. And now the costs are estimated to be at 30 billion euros down from 35 billion. Um, and that includes the high speed rail network doesn't include the trains, though. Uh, and we know that 13 billion euros will be covered uh, by government bonds. And I wanted to ask you, can you tell us where the rest of the financing will come from? And can we count on the EU, perhaps, to support us in some of that financing? So, uh, regularly in Europe, this kind of project will be also built with the European funds. Uh, the second thing, what we the f third thing, which we can have it, yes, probably it should be the money from uh, our national airline. But we know that this has, our national airline will not do not have enough money to finance this project. So probably the other uh, other money also came from the government, but different ministries. Okay, and we also know that these sort of projects uh, tend to go awry. We, we have the example of the British HS2, which is one example, very controversial, highly debated. We also have the Berlin Brandenburg one, which is another example. And uh, the Polish Solidarity Transport Hub actually combines the two. Uh, do you think that this could possibly be a disaster in the making? So it's a very hard question. Yes, uh, it's a very we high have risk to project. Remember that this hub, yes, we have to remember that this hub will focus about three main uh, points. The first point we all, we only discuss about one point about the passenger transport, but we have to remember that this is also important from the cargo transportation. Yes. Second thing, what is quite important when we think about this. Uh, Port, or when we think about this product, is transportation of uh, passengers go by trains. Yes. So when we focus only that we have a plane transportation, yes, air transportation, of course it could be a problem. Yes. But when we think about the two other legs of this project, yes, so we see that it could be profitable. Okay, well, in terms of the cargo transport, because we, we, like you said, we focused on the passenger and the, the, the contributions it will make for uh, passenger travel. But can you tell us a little bit about the role of cargo transport? So cargo, cargo transport in this case will be, of course, there will be also rain tra cargo transport, but also plane cargo transport. The plane tra cargo transport is around 1 to, to 5 percent of the all cargo which we have the shipping on the world which we have it but it's also around 50 percent of the cost because we are uh, using this cargo transport plane to cargo the most precious uh, products especially medicine and basically when we look on our relation with the chinese uh, government with the chinese uh, economy it could be also profitable for the cargo from uh, chinese product to Europe, yes. So we can ha we can create a quite important spot, which could be a competitor for Amsterdam. It could be competitor for also uh, ports, which we have it in Hamburg, because we can do it by trains and of course planes. Okay, so it gives us a little bit more of an upper hand. I well, hopefully we'll see what time brings. But just one last question. Here we are in Warsaw. We have three local airports. We have Okencia, we have Modlin and Radom. Uh, we hear that Okencia and Modlin should be modernized. Uh, and is a fourth airport really necessary? Yes and no. This is this is the very important point. Uh, so from my perspective, from one perspective, it will be much better to move on the cargo terminal from Warsaw to Radom or to uh, Modlin 
and develop the virtual shopping. But develop virtual shopping in the new inf idea of the infrastructure, how the uh, national hub should be created is impossible because we have to uh, build it again from the beginning, yes, because we have an airport which is line. Usually we have airports which is more around the circle or a star or something like that. So okay. from the perspective of developing uh, of the architecture is quite complicated. Uh, is we really needed the central port? From the perspective of the transportation of the passengers, not really. But from the other uh, points which I just told you, uh, yes. Okay, so we heard some interesting positive news that we're going ahead with the uh, Solidarity Transport Hub from the Prime Minister. Thank you very much for bringing us some more insight. That was Błażej Podgórski from Warsaw's Kozmiński uh, University here with us on The Bottom Line. Thank you very much for your invitation. And that brings us to the end of today's edition of Business Arena. I was your host, Marie Kato. Make sure you join us again on Friday at 10 past five here on TVP World. Goodbye.